What's up guys? Welcome back to Katya Lee's Henry's World. Today I'm going to be doing another Cooking with Katya episode episode. And this is a recipe from Workouts by Katya Meal Plans. If you don't already know, go check those out. And I'm also going to be making a blessed chocolate mousse. So this is going to be really good. Um, these recipes are super easy to make, so follow along and let's do it. Welcome to Cat's Kitchen. I'm obsessed with these bandanas for a little bit now oh, because it's super easy to do your hair like this. Throw it up in a bun. You don't have to put any heat on it. Put a little bandana and voila, so cute. But besides that, let's get to cooking. So the ingredients you need for this look up my coffee exclusive rice paper roll. All veggies, super good, low in calories, guys. So this is this is a recipe that probably won't get you thick, but it's important to eat a lot of vegetables. So what you need, you're gonna need, says red bell peppers. I just got the little mini peppers. I love these. My cats are running around crazy. What else is needed though? You need some lettuce. I think this is like butter lettuce or something. Is that what it's called? I don't know. You're gonna need, of course, your spring roll rice wrapping papers. I got these from just like my local Publix or whatever your grocery store is called, they should have those. Then you're gonna need a cucumber, then you're gonna need onion, then you're gonna need carrots, and then you really need the Cajun, the Cajun. The kajun. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you're gonna need this seasoning. Very important. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna chop up all the vegetables and then you're gonna just season it up. And I think I'm gonna actually add in, this is not in the recipe, but I'm gonna add a little oil so that the seasoning just kind of sticks a little bit better. And then I think I just kind of went in my cabinet and was like, hmm, what else would be good with these? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil and a little bit of liquid aminos which will make it a little bit saltier. So these are like, this is like a soy sauce alternative, way better for you. And of course, this is just sesame oil. So yeah, in the original recipe, it's literally just this, but of course, I gotta be extra. So. Yeah, so first things first, I'm going to wash my hands and wash these vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the cucumber. I'm just going to, I'm gonna slice the skin off of the cucumber. And it says one whole cucumber, but I'm just probably gonna do half because I'm not gonna make that many. Now I'm gonna take my carrot and instead of just chopping this, I'm gonna slice it like I'm gonna skin it. But you gotta be really careful with this. I don't know, you could probably get this anywhere, but I remember the other day, what was it the other day? A couple months ago, I was skinning a potato and I chopped like half of my finger off. Like I skinned my finger skin off. It was really rough, so just be really careful when you're doing this. But get a closer look, you can see that it makes like really nice slices. And I'll just eat the rest. So I'm gonna cut the peppers now. Just cut the tops of them off. And then you're gonna see little seeds in here. So you can just take the knife, kinda cut around and get the seeds. Stuff. Throw these. Then you're just gonna slice them. Speaking of peppers, did you know that peppers actually originated in Central and South America? Columbus actually found them growing in the West Indies. They were introduced to Europe until the 16th century. You know that King Edward VI of England 
he actually overdosed on bell peppers and he passed away on July 6th of 1553. Enough from facts from Katya. So I'm just cutting up this lettuce a little bit so that we can fit it into these wraps. So I didn't cut them too small, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna move on to my garonion. Just cut a little bit. I love onion. Who else agrees that onion is the best vegetable? If you don't, you're capping. Beautiful! So I need to transfer the veggies to a bigger bowl ski. A little bit of oil. It's not an ingredient that's listed on my recipe, but I just like to add a little flavor. Just kidding, I want the seasoning to stick a little bit more. And then this is a bowl of warm water because it says for the rice papers to dip wrapper in warm water, then lay flat, put ingredients in the middle and fold sides inwards, fold bottom up, fold bottom and roll upward. So that's what I'll do. I love the seasoning. Mm, tastes like pizza. So in the instructions, it says half a teaspoon of Cajun. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's Cajun. Go <laughs> <laughs> a little more. A little bit more. Okay, that looks like it is good. Yum. Okay. Wash my hands a little bit and then I'm gonna get these rice paper rolls ready to go. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of liquid aminos in here because I don't know how salty that seasoning will be. So just a little bit and I'm of course adding my own little bit of sesame oil. That should be good. I won't do too much. Mix around. Mix around. Oh, oh, oh. So good! All right, so this water is warm. I'm going to just dip this in. This is so weird. These are really weird, bro. All right, okay. More cucumbers. Now it says fold the sides and then the bottom. And I'm not good at this, but you get the picture. I'll do my next one better. Let's try this again. That one wasn't so good. Papers are exotic. Oh no, it's folding. All right, take it out. I'm gonna put a little bit less in there this time. Do the sides, it says. Do this other side. And then do the bottom. Roll number two. I'm gonna see what it's like if I roll the bottom up first and then all the sides. So here comes the final moment. Which one should I start working with? I like the way that this one looks. All right. Mmm. Mm. Pretty fire. Of course, I would want something to dip it in. What would make this better is if we made like a spicy peanut butter sauce to dip it in. So next time. That was an original work with my Katya recipe. So good. Veggie rice paper rolls. Really good. And as you can see, that was so easy to make. So fast. Um, highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Yummy. Oh, crrr. So part two of this, I'm going to be making chocolate coconut mousse. 
and it's protein it moves too so it doesn't get any better than that so what you need of course is blessed chocolate coconut protein you can get this on ehplabs.com website down here code down here talk to your tent save the time to now you need almond milk or any sort of nut milk but make sure that it's unsweetened and then you're going to need coconut cream with the can, not coconut milk, coconut cream. It's thicker. Then you're gonna need vanilla extract. So, it says one fourth cup coconut cream. So, I got my handy dandy measuring cups. You know I never use measuring cups, but today I feel like I need a little extra help. So I'm gonna open this coconut cream. See what this is about. Cause usually I just do coconut milk. So I wonder what this is gonna be like. Ooh, it's thicky. Okay, so one fourth cup of coconut cream. Then it says one fourth teaspoon of vanilla. One half cup of almond milk. And one scoop of blessed protein. Now it says beat well. So I got my pink mixer. just like chocolate mousse and of course it has your protein in it but it's actually really good a little bit in the refrigerator so it gets a little cold of course I have to add some vegan whipped cream on top of that maybe some vegan chocolate chips because <laughs> I can never keep it simple but this is actually so good I'm impressed yum all right, that's all for today on Cooking with Katia. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please give it a thumbs up, leave some nice comments, and don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Love you guys. <laughs>